we've been out sailing for uh, almost 24, a little more than 24 hours. We left Shetland around 4 o'clock yesterday. Um, and we are heading towards Ålesund in Norway. Uh, or maybe outside in the archipelago for a few days and do some hikes. Uh, now the sun is up and that's nice. Um, we're having a good speed. It's between six and seven knots all the time, but the waves are so irregular, so it's a quite bumpy ride. But it's nice. It feels good to doing the last leg now and just doing shortcuts the rest of the year. Yeah. We're just having the Yeno up. The main can rest, so it's good. So now we're in Norway, finally. Yeah, Christian Sand. Yeah, it was an exhausting trip, the last part uh, across the Atlantic or the North Sea. Yeah, it was so rough. I even had to take those uh, pills for uh, seasickness. Yeah. And no nice. I think one of the thing is the expectations because when we decided to cross the Atlantic uh, I was quite nervous um, because it's a long way and there's a lot of low pressures uh, coming in very fast. Yeah, so and from different uh, directions also, both from north, south and east and west. Yeah, exactly. So you, mm -hmm. you can't really predict the weather forecast, but uh, I thought uh, as long as we get to Faroe Island, the danger is over. Uh, because then you just have like two, uh, it's two days sailing between Faroe Island to Shetland and another two days to uh, from Shetland to Norway. And you get a really reliable weather forecast for 48 hours. Yeah, so. exactly. But it has been a very windy uh, season in, on the Atlantic this year. So we, yeah. we managed to get fairly good windows uh, during those last two passages uh, but the problem was uh, was the waves because uh, just before we went out uh, it was a storm both or at least gale so we had big waves and um, but the wind was okay but it was a roller trip yeah it was not much sleep and yeah yeah. So it's very good feeling to be here in Norway. Yeah, and Svea is a, such a good boat to have in such rough condition also because even though it's rough, it doesn't feel uncomfortable, so you don't get scared. So that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I didn't have any any problems. It was just exhausting uh, mm. compared to the other passages that we have have had that's been quite calm so you compare to those all the time mm -hmm. and also a little bit of a uh, homesickness yeah. uh, I think I know the feeling when we reached Norway because it was in the middle of the night so we were there really early in the morning and uh, it was a fishing boat who was going in different direction all the time so I re tried to reach him on the VHF and I spoke English but then I just realized I can speak Swedish <laughs> yeah. and that feeling knowing that you are on Scandinavian land it, it was so yeah. fantastic yeah very good and I mean we've been very restricted uh, or felt very restricted of course due to the pandemic but also the it's especially in the US uh, you're not allowed to move that freely if you we want to go and see the nature you have to go to certain parks and uh, there are trails and those trails uh, in the nature reserves are like three kilometers or something like that so if it's you're uh, lucky <laughs> yeah so it's just small areas and and coming here yeah the the right to roam, I think it's called, the freedom of roam, yeah. uh, the Allemansrätten in, in Sweden and Norway, where you're allowed to move freely uh, on land, and that's the best feeling. Yeah. So. Um, it's really nice. So when we arrived in Sandöja in Norway, 
uh, we had to quarantine for tw 10 days because we came from another country. Uh, but it was a perfect place to do it because there were so many paths you can go. So we walked all around the island, up and down the hills and yeah. around a little bit and yeah. down to the beach and up to the hills. It was really nice. Yeah. <laughs> and since we've been to, uh, before that, to Shetland Island, we uh, um, visited our favorite grocery store, Tesco. So we... <laughs> <laughs> the boat was full with food, so we had no problem yeah. just staying out uh, uh, from on the small islands. And eventually we went to Ørsta, where uh, the hiking is fantastic with yeah. this. Um, I mean, the peaks are up to, I think, one 1,400 meters straight yeah. from the ocean. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a cool place. Yeah, it is. Oh. The fjords are really cool. Yeah. yeah. But uh, now we are in Kristiansand and uh, we enjoy it here very much as well. It, it's, uh, yeah, we talk about nature all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quite big city. It's the fifth biggest in, in Norway, yes, I think. Yes, it is. Around 100,000 uh, citizens. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, the archipelago is a lot of islands yeah and it's quite easy to sail here but because the tide is maybe 30 centimeters mm -hmm. or something like that yeah. so you don't have to care no of that and uh, yeah and also we're not used to this kind of nature because it's a lot of uh, leaf trees yeah and, uh, with, so it's a mixed it's very hilly here and a uh, lot lar of lakes. Yeah, and large trees. Yeah, oak trees and... Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. It is. Yeah, and people ask us, what are you going to live on the boat during the winter? How are you going to manage? But it's like living in a house. <laughs> yeah, and 
And when we decided to go back home, we, we said that we wanted to continue living on the boat. And uh, we, we have talked about earlier to live in Norway as well. Yeah. And all, uh, there's no ice here or in Norway, thanks to the Gulf Stream. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so that was an obvi uh, obvious choice for us. We wanted to go to Lofoten um, because of the nature. <laughs> uh, and uh, we ended up in Christian Sand, uh, wo uh, that's uh, on the very southern tip of, of Norway. Yeah, and Lofoten is in the very north. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we go there later on then. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. But it's a good start to be on the southern part because it's a little bit warmer here. Yeah. And a little bit less rain, more, more sun, especially in, in the winter. Yeah, <laughs> they say that uh, it's most sunny hours a year here in Kristiansand in, in Norway. Yeah. So that's nice. It's called the uh, Riviera of Norway. Yeah. N I don't know if that says <laughs> anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be back in in Norway and uh, especially me, I uh, I'm not. I'm not the adventure guy that I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> it depends in which eyes you are looking. Yeah, at that's it, so. yeah, that's maybe true. But uh, I like to discover, but I want to do it in where things work. Uh, um, and we've been to many countries that, where it's it's such an unfair society. Mm. It the the gap between rich and poor. Uh, it's just, yeah, we don't feel good being in, in those countries. No. And also with the corruption and stuff like that, it's, oh, we like societies that work. And maybe since we are used to this culture, uh, we, with the Swedish culture, we know how it works. Uh, maybe it's corrupted here, but we don't know about it. Uh, but uh, <laughs> still, it's a good feeling to be home. Yeah, it's more comfortable because you know how it works. Yeah. That's the hard thing. Yeah. New culture and it's corrupt and you have to try to figure out how it works. Yeah. And it's quite hard to do it, to start over with that all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, for instance, in the US, we, um, I mean, the health system here is that everyone get help. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are and if you have the right insurance. But in the US, we were not able to have an insurance uh, for COVID. Yeah. So if we would uh, uh, gotten sick in the US yeah. and uh, had to go into the hospital, uh, we yeah. had to sell the boat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to survive. So yeah. that was a bit risky. Yeah, it was. Looking forward to uh, everyday life and just stay here and uh, not going sailing. Uh, uh, it was so fun. Fri Friday evening, if we came from the store and uh, our neighbors, it was dark outside and quite windy. And they were going out with a the boat. They said, there we were going out for the weekend. Are you going out? And we were like, no, we love being attached to land. Yeah. <laughs> We're so uh, we have so many lines to shore, so we're really tangled with all the other boats. It's like a, a, a spider spider web. Yeah. We are uh, around fifteen boats here, living on the boats uh, the whole winter. So it's a small community, and it's in, in the middle of the city. So now we are city slickers. <laughs> it was yes. a long time yeah. since yeah. we did that. Yeah. And I hope we, we will see you next time. It probably will take a few weeks in the next episode will come because uh, I have full-time studies and Paul is working full-time. So I don't think you think that's so interesting to follow us <laughs> when I'm sitting in front of your computer. So yeah, um, I do the Excel thing. <laughs> yes. and But we have some... 
and some material still from our trip so there will be episodes so as soon as we have time we will show you some yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay thank you very much bye 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 bye